Hi, this is Sarah from MH Star Consulting. Um, this week I wanted to pop on and talk about packing and about capsule wardrobes. Um, Melissa and I were talking in the week about our plans for the weekend and she's gone off to Breezy Point um, and she was saying how much she hates packing. I love packing. I know it's strange, but I like to challenge myself to bring the least amount of items for the longest amount of time and really build a narrow capsule for the time that I'm away. If you are building a capsule closet, some of the tips I'm going to share today might help you kind of narrow things down and um, help to kind of build that closet out so it's really workable for you. So I have got 15 items um, and that would last me two weeks, obviously with some laundering and it doesn't include underwear, swimwear or pyjamas. Um, but I'm going to show you how we can build that through and really create a nice tight capsule for your weekend away, for your real life, um, for your vacation when we get back to normal life hopefully soon. So the first thing I do is narrow down my colour palette and for this one I've chosen navy and coral. Both colours I know work well for me. Um, coral again is one of those colours which makes you look like you've had more sleep than you have and navy is a little less harsh than black. I tend to wear more navy in the summer than black. Um, and through that I've mixed um, some paler like denim blue, some tan and some white um, but every single item in here goes with every single other item. I've got one statement piece, um, I'll show you. It's this galleon print um, skirt from Anthropology, which I've built the entire closet around. So travel outfit important that you feel comfortable. So Gap Tank, Gap, trusty Gap denim jacket, um, some white pants. I know I'm taking my life into my own hands having white pants and traveling. I always keep a Tide pen in my pocket. I always get a little cold on the flight. So this is a great layering piece. And for traveling, if I was going on a plane, which I'm not obviously now, but in the future, what I would have is a crossbody purse because I like to have my hands free and then I would put a small clutch in here with my passport, any money, um, my important documents and then this could double as a clutch for the evenings. Um, when I'm going away for two weeks I only have carry-on. Everything we would take on our imaginary two weeks will fit into this bag which is a great size for carry-on. So, like I said, I've got 15 items. Um, they include denim jacket. I've got four tank tops, one in this peach, one in white, one in a light blue, one in navy. I've got a navy t-shirt. I've got a dressier light blue shirt. I've got two pairs of shorts, one denim, one tan. I've got a white pair of pants. Um, I've got three dresses and a jumpsuit, and that will last me for two weeks. So this is the first daytime look, um, tan shorts, coral tank and a pair of flats. Really simple, really easy. You could swap out these shorts for the denim ones, you could put the statement skirt with it. Um, so for the evenings I tend to add jewellery, I've added this camel pendant, um, a pair of bigger hoops and then swapped out my flats for the gold heels. Um, um, you could throw your denim jacket on over the top of this if it gets cooler in the evening. So the basic principles is keep things simple for the daytime and then um, add jewellery and maybe a red lip for the evenings. Um, like I said, I like to keep things really simple. Um, I don't want to be thinking about matching clothes when I'm on vacation or ever really. Um, so what you could do on cooler days is, I don't mind a little double denim, uh, throw on your denim jacket. Um, it's just a really easy, relaxed look. It looks pulled together and it's incredibly comfortable. So for daytime, same principles as the jumpsuit 
crossbody purse and flats, denim jacket if you need to, and then for the evenings, add the gold shoes. I wouldn't do a necklace with this because of the drape, um, but you could do a big earring. You could also wear it off the shoulder um, if that's your style. One more thing that I always pack is a pair of denim shorts. I tend to go up one or two sizes because um, I just like them to fit baggy. Um, I paired it with this slightly dressier shirt. This is cotton. Um, the shorts could go with any of the tanks and the t-shirt. This shirt could go with any of the shorts or the white pants. Pair this look with slides in the daytime and your crossbody and then um, heels and the big earrings in the evenings and you've got your looks. Um, I hope that you can see how everything works together. Um, one thing I always pack is a cotton tote. Um, these can be folded up real small. They don't take up much space. Throw your towel and your sunscreen in, snacks and drinks if you're going on a hike. One thing that I do when I'm packing to reduce any creasing is I roll everything. So the blue dress, I'm gonna fold it in half, in half again and then roll it. It saves you space. Um, and if I'm packing for kids, I'll roll outfits. So I'll get shorts, t-shirt, underwear, and then roll it in a roll. Um, so then I know how many uh, days we've got left of clean clothes. So as I am showing you these outfits I'm packing, so at the end I'll show you my packed bag and how much space we have in there. This top will obviously go with the tan shorts, the denim shorts and the white pants and it also ties in with the um, statement skirt. Um, one thing I like about these button through um, shirts is that you can knot them. So just don't do the um, bottom two buttons and then knot it or do a tuck or don't do a tuck. Um, you could also do a half tuck. Um, just some simple ways to change up your look a little bit. The bag is packed. I've filled it with everything, including the travel outfit, and there's still loads of room for your underwear, swimwear, PJs, and toiletries. So things to consider when you are packing or building your capsule closet is a color palette. Um, I would suggest two light neutrals, one dark neutral and a pop of color for the summer, and then two dark neutrals, one light neutral and a pop of colour for the winter. I would try and make sure that as much as possible thing, everything goes together so you don't have to worry about which skirt goes with which shirt. The last thing you want to do when you are rushing out the door or on vacation is to be worrying about what you're wearing. Thanks so much for listening. Um, tune in again soon and um, enjoy your summer. Thanks. Bye.